Welcome back, drawers. In our last videos, we've been learning about using the element, the art element of line, specifically contour line drawing, using careful observation to record the exterior edges and um, interior edges to, to describe the form of the subject we're drawing. Um, you're drawing some hands right now, and I'm hoping you'll fill the entire page. In this video, uh, I hope you fill the entire page with different poses. In this video, I want to show you how to start using different line variety, variation to your lines, uh, what we call weighted lines, to create dimension in your drawing. And you can see it in these. I'll just demonstrate, give you a demo on how to do this. Um, I'm going to go back to my boot drawing, the boot study that we did, um, that I did in previous video. Um, I might need to lighten some of my lines before I start. What I'm going to use is uh, not the vinyl eraser, but what's called a kneaded eraser. Uh, and basically you need this like a piece of clay to get it soft. The warmth of your hand and the movement will get it to move and be soft. This is an eraser that you don't scrub with like you would a vinyl eraser or a pink eraser. This is one that you'll blot with. So you just press and lift and you can see the actual lines being pulled right up onto the, the clay eraser, the kneaded eraser. I simply fold it over itself and knead it a little bit and that will self-clean and I can continue to blot, press, and lighten my lines. So it's great for not completely erasing, but for blotting and removing and lightening lines, okay? The reason you may want to lighten your lines is so then you can create some variation to them. What I'm going to teach you today is using different pressure of your hand, light or heavy, to create different types of lines which will enter, create interest in your drawing and create some depth, an illusion of depth, okay? So once you've lightened the lines with the kneaded eraser, which is a tool we'll use, especially when we get into the, teaching you about shading, the element of value, I'm going to go back to looking at the subject, my boot here, and look at the edges that are closest to me. I see that the fold of the top here, as it's folded over this old boot, this part, these edges are all closer to my point of view right now. So when I go to drawing it, I'm going to actually take and put some more weight into those lines. I'm going to put some heavier pressure on those edges. Uh, go back over my contour line and just sort of restate it a little heavier. You'll notice that as I do this, once I move out of the way, that this edge now is starting to pull forward. So by doing this, I'm actually creating some dimension. I'm actually communicating that this edge is, I'm bringing it forward over this edge. If I want this edge to drop back, the base of the boot, I will actually come back and just lighten it up a little bit more. Um, so you can create edges that either come forward or go back. Now, I might even make this line a little thicker just to really emphasize the dimension and depth and pull it even further to the foreground. Now, if I want something to go away, or as, as this subject goes further away from my, my eyes, my point of view, I will actually just lighten the pressure that I'm putting on here. So I'm going from a pushing fairly hard to lightening my pressure. Um, this edge over here is over the top of this one, so I can make this edge darker than that one. And now I'm starting to like what I see. Uh, little detail lines, textures, shapes of light. I'll do those really light, very, very little pressure. Uh, in fact, I might leave the line broken um, because then it leaves, it creates some interest and the viewer can complete that in their mind. This will just show some texture on my worn out old boot and it'll also create variety. Having more variety in your lines is interesting. You want to avoid a solid outline. That makes things flat, makes things look like a coloring book. 
What we want is to create interest and dimension and variety. And you can achieve that by weighting your lines. You'll notice now that this edge of the boot, the toe of the boot, is closer again to me. Not quite as close as that fold, but pretty close. And then as it goes back to the heel of the boot, it starts to go further away. So I'm going to actually start to break that line, lighten it back by the heel, but I'm going to thicken and bold it as it comes up by the toe. So I'd like you to go back into your hand drawings. Once they're complete, use your kneaded eraser to lighten the lines and then look at what's closest to, your, to you. What fingers, what edges of your hand are closest to you. Start to thicken, bold, and weight those lines and then the edges further away, the textures lighten details, you can start to lighten. I will finish this example and show you what it looks like when I'm done, but I want to go back to the hands and show you those again. So fingers that are close, we're going to overlapping, are you going to bold them? Shapes of light and details, wrinkles in your hand, lighten those up and they'll fall back into the background. Create some depth and dimension with your line. We're not shading, but you can outline shapes of light like the cast shadow that's falling from these two fingers onto the palm of the hand. Again, we're trying to learn to use different types of line to make you a more advanced drawer. Good luck.